Bam. Baby turret. He's so cute. 206 level. Get on my level. Give him some of that hot meat action. Uh, wants care in 47 minutes. Behavior. Disable wandering. Dude, attack the dodo. What is up the world? It is your friendly neighborhood Slipgator here, hanging out today, doing stuff and things, back, playing some Ark. Extinction. Thanks so much for coming to hang out with me today, guys. Make sure if you like the video, smash the thumbs up button. If you knew and you haven't already and you think it's unbelievable and amazing, I talk really fast. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Ladies and gentlemen, we're getting into it. There's another new dino that we haven't tamed yet. Something that we saw, I think, a couple episodes ago, episodes ago but we haven't really messed around with it. And I definitely want to get one tamed up. And it's definitely going to be a huge, unbelievable, and amazing dino. And definitely might get nerfed. Right there. The Valenosaur. Level 15. Also known as the Turritosaurus. As I have named him. Dude, there was another one over there. There was another one. There he is. What level are you? Level 60. These guys are freaking crazy, man. We have to be kind of careful uh, when we're attacking them. A level. Where did the level 15 one go? This shouldn't be too bad. I feel like we can get a level 15. Pretty easy. Wait, let's come back around over here. Ow! Dude, what? Don't! No, thorny deal. Oh, dude, we're in a big fight now! Some things are happening! Okay, okay. We're just a little snow owl. We're not an... Um, we're, 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 you know what I mean? We're not an offensive giant. Pulmonoscorpiuses have been destroyed. Dude, a zebra! That's right, Brit. I say zebra. Oh, my God. All right, so we did some stuff and things there. Holy crap, man. I was just trying to kill the one guy. Let's squirt all this out of here like so, and then why don't we... Healing! Dude, is that not the best thing ever? I'll tell you what, man. I can't stop saying it. I can't stop talking about it. Extinction is the best goddamn thing that ever happened to Ark in the history of Ark. Dude, this pack is amazing. I feel like it's super PvE-focused. I just love it. Level 15. Dude, I don't even know. Um, so what we're trying to do today is find a Valenosaur, uh, a high-level Turtosaurus, um, a preferably over 120, if possible, uh, to get tamed up and bring back to our base. I have another one over there already. I want to get some uh, hot taming action done. I want to get some hot breeding stuff and things going on here. Now, I'll show you. I don't know if I even dare. Level 95? Dude, that's really high. Dude, we can't. We can't. I'm not even going to mess with it. I'm not going to mess with the 95, man. I want to show you how they fire stuff and things. Some of you guys probably have been watching ARC stuff from all the other peeps and may have already seen this. Some of you guys haven't. These Valenosaurs, Valenosaurs, uh have a ranged attack. Um, and it's devastating. And I mean devastating. Level 20. Let me see if I can engage the ranged attack for you guys to see. Let's just get a little bit closer. Are we still gaining Torpor? You're getting very sleepy. Okay, but his torpor isn't that high. Okay, come here, man. Are you going to aggro me, yo? Dude, do they not aggro snow owls? Let's make it happen. Are you ready? You ready for this? There he goes, turret mode. Ah, did you see that, man? Look at those bats! Dude, they're so scary. That's just a low-level one, too. That's not even a big boy. That's why when we saw the 95, I was like, yeah, maybe we'll just walk past that. Because at range, these guys are unbelievable. Close up, they have a special attack too. We're definitely going to tame one today. I'm going to tell you all about how freaking great they are. But what we've got to do to start off with is find one. See, I don't think this vision really helps that much. Because I can already see all the things. I feel like the owl vision should work at a longer range. See those guys that are right in front of me way, way off in the distance? If I could see them, maybe it would be worth it. But I almost feel like owl... Uh, vision, I don't know. It's just as good as like regular vision. Also, do you guys see the uh, hot glitch action here? Let me see. Is it happening right there? There's some sort of visual glitch happening to people. Just thought I'd let you know if you see a dino behind a rock or something and it looks real, real weird. That's why it's happening. All right. So we got another. Oh, dude, he went behind the rock. We got another guy over here. Come on, man. We got to find that big boy. You know what I mean? That big 120. 20. <laughs> That's not even a mouse on a wheel. Ladies and gentlemen, after much circling of the stuff and things, we have found an unbelievable and amazing dino. I can't even believe it myself. Where did he go? He's back behind the tree. Level 145, male. Super sexually attractive. Turritosaurus. All right, this is going to be big time. We got a lot. Oh, we're in battle? Oh, he's after us. 
Dude, let's go team. You want some of this hot action? I'll bring it to you. Dude, look at how many... Okay, the higher the stamina is, the more of the deals they can fire. We gotta be really careful. We can't fall off the edge. It would be bad news bears if that was to occur. Dude, what? A swing and a miss. All right, we got this down here. <gasps> okay, watch for turret mode. Careful turret mode. He thought it. I hit. Come on, you think you got what it takes? Turret mode. You think you got what it takes? No, 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 no turret mode. Get wrecked, you stupid dink. Is he running away yet? Okay, there we go. A hit. Another hit. Another hit. All right, we had 100 tranks when we started. We got a couple of misses here. We've maybe only hit him with like five. Seven. Swing and a hit. That's what I'm talking about. Definitely. Definitely something amazing. <gasps> oh, we're in big trouble now. No. You can't jump back up here. No, you can't jump back up here. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here, Kojo, you're taking forever, Kojo! Oh, I didn't get it, I didn't get it, I didn't... Yeah. No, Kujo, no! No, 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 come on, Kujo, Kujo, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come over here, come over here, come over here. Okay, we're good, we're good. Is he still falling? Okay, let's just pop over here. Whew. Dude, that guy can waste me, waste me. Oh, 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 oh! No, Cujo. Okay, just go in follow mode then, I guess. Dude, I hit a miss? What? Okay, hold up. Go like so. Come over here. Land. Unfollow. Unfollow, I said. Done it. Where's the boy? I can't ADS right now. I hit! Come on back, homie. We're going to do this, you and I. Ah, ah! Look at it, man! Oh, he's starting to run. He's starting to run. Okay, we got this. He's starting to run away. He won't attack us anymore. Most likely. Where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hopefully, he doesn't get anything aggroed. Don't aggro anything. I don't know if Kentros are naturally aggro or not. Get wrecked, you stupid dink. You don't have what it takes. He's down. He's down. He's down. Nailed an ace to camp. He stopped. Oh, yeah. Wait, not that. Like this. Like this. Uh... Let's try to take something out over here. Wait, let's just double check and see. What level are you, homeboy? 55. Okay, so we should be G's. Dude, we gotta think of an unbelievable and amazing name for this guy. We're just gonna accept that like that. He's on follow. I don't happen to have a saddle on me. Um, and instead of walking this guy out, I saw back over here a terminal. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do here. Let's go ahead and whistle passive. Oh, dude, he's got the bug. So these guys seem to be bugged sometimes. You notice how he's not running? Let's actually whistle him to neutral. And then watch this, man. If we bring him over here to, to aggro this Kentro, hopefully the Kentro's not high. 55. So if we can get this Kentro aggroed. Come over here, stupid. Now, if we bring the Kentro over to him, he's going to use stamina. So right now he can't run. And it's like some sort of weird stamina bug. Some people are saying they get stuck in turret mode. He wasn't in turret mode when this happened. You going to help me out, homie? That's what I'm talking about, man. Get that XP. Come on, homie. We got to think of a great name for him, man. All right, I'll help you. So if he uses his stamina up after this fight, when he regens the stamina, I do believe he will begin to run for us. Come on, homie. You taking that? He's got it, man. You ready? Are you ready to run? There he goes. See? Told you, man. So if you have that issue with your boy, with your Velinosaur, when you're doing that, you can always do what I just showed you. Dude, where is that deal? Hold on, let's fly up. There it is, I see it. It's over this way. All right, come on, homie. Can't go too fast. So what we're gonna do is bring him over to the terminal. And you guys, these t these city terminals, they're amazing. They're like the best thing that ever happened, man. It makes it so basically, we don't have to walk our dino back. We can just come over here, upload him to the terminal that's over here, and then we can download him to the city terminal that's on uh, right in our base area place. So any... Dino that we tame, if we can just bring it to the city terminal, we can bring it right back to base almost instantly. No! Are you freaking rocked? Dude, come on, man. You can do it. Oh, I believe in you, and you did. This is so unbelievable and amazing. No, not that way. You almost got it. Keep thinking. Which way could you possibly go? Which way, which way could it be? Oh, you figured it out. What a smart little boy. All right, so we're going to pop over here like so. Looks like hopefully nothing aggressive in the area. 
We're going to go uh, unfollow this kid right here. And we're going to go over to creatures. Uh, the Valenosaur. Upload. Accept. Bam. Squirt. There's his bag right there. Time to head back to base. And we're back over at our base area place with all our super sexually attractive dinos and our tables. All right, table, table, table. Uh, let's swap over here and let's go ahead inside of here. There you can see Irish Ninja. It's a 127. We tamed up these guys last night. Uh, Nuzu, which this is our mail, right? So Nuzu, you're, you're gone, man. Oh, wait, crap. Let me give you this back real quick. And we have a little area set up over here for some amazing stuff and things. When I talked about earlier, this being the like the PVE expansion, I'll show you exactly why that that is. We're going to move him over there. We won't take a saddle. Let's just go ahead and make a new one. Let's pop inside of here like so. And, the, wait, wait, the, and then we got this bad ombre right there. Craft that guy. And we'll pop over here like so. Uh, creatures. Valenosaur 217. Download. He's done it. Do, 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 do. There he is. We'll go ahead and squirt. Wait, what? I accessed the terminal inventory. Let's go over here like so. Put the saddle on this bad hombre. Are you set on follow? Come over here, homie. Get off of there. I know you can do it. I believe in you. All right. Turn the follow off. Let's check out the statistics, ladies and gentle peeps. Watch this, man. This is our run speed deal on this guy right here. Uh, he did get a level. Uh, we've got... 3,400 HPs, 1,100 stamina, oxygen food. No one cares. He has almost 10,000 food, though. 500 weight, 278.4 melee damage, and 120% movement speed. Get a, about 100 stamina-ish per point. And we're going to bring you out over here, and I'm going to show you what this guy's all about. All right, so we got jump. Dude, don't tell the devs. I mean, this is the most overpowered land dino I've ever seen. Are you ready for this? C mode. Hot turret action. Get wrecked! Oh my god, this guy's high level. Oh my god, he's so high. Dude, 135 stego rip. Never forget. Get bitch slapped. Give me all your meat. But you can see, man, that floored his stamina. Absolutely crushed it. Um, so you got to wait and uh, for the stamina to recharge. Now, the other day when I was playing with these guys, we were noticing, oh, hot levels. We're going to pump a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this. Focusing on health, stamina, and melee damage on this guy. Uh, so somebody was saying, and you can, by the way, put stim berries in their inventory and they will automatically eat them, but it doesn't really work very well. And the reason why is that it eats the stim berries when it, uh, at, at any point when it needs stamina. So we can put those in there. Let me see here. I'll show you kind of why this isn't working very well. In my opinion, let's go ahead and find, where's that parasaur at? Let's go over here and kick this guy's butt like so hot turret action get wrecked all right so let's just like so like so so you can see we have our inventory our stamina going down pardon me and instead of the natural stamina regen oh wait did it did they change it i don't think there was an update the other day when i was doing this you see it's natural stamina regen is not working here you can see it so the natural stamina isn't happening it's only using the stim berries um now here's my question if we were to, like, go ahead and just waste a bunch of his stamina, like, down to zero, right? Say you were in a fight and you needed to run away. You were having a big-time problem. There was a Giga or something like that. You used up all his stamina. All right, so now you're screwed. You're like, oh, man, I can't run. There's nothing I can do. Really quick, we throw the stim berries in. Let's go, team! Dude, so it works while he's running? Uh, kind of. It could help you to escape. You see what I'm seeing? It's still going down. So it's kind of weird. I don't know if maybe stimulant would work better um, than the stim berries, but now we'll be able to see the natural stamina region while we're resting. Obviously superior. But you could use stim berries um, if you had to run away. Um, there is another alternate attack, by the way, if you didn't think the turret was enough. Let's pop over here and I'll show you the right click deal. This beaver's about to get friggin' wrecked. You ready for this hot beaver action, man? Come here, man. I want to show you the friggin' universe. I'm going to teach you all about everything. You ready? Ah! Dude, did you see that? All the friggin' stuff it takes. It's amazing, man. This guy is amazing. Get wrecked! Stupid beavers. They don't know what's right and good in the world. All right. So we got another level on our boy. Let's pop over here real quickly. And why don't we? Just take a look at some of this stuff. And then we'll throw that wood away. T, 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 and T. And we'll get rid of these guys. 
We can always get more wood from trees and stuff and things like that. We'll pump a little bit more stamina. But yeah, the Valenosaur. Now, I think there's some people that are already talking about this dino being too overpowered. It's too overpowered. You know what I think, guys? I think this is the perfect answer to what I, I feel was a problem that Arcs had for a long time, and that is the superiority of the air dinos. Um, dinos in the air have been superior for a long, long time. Whoa. But this guy, let me tell you what, guys. This guy. Yeah, look at it, man. Dude, what an amazing... Dude, he's so basic. He gives you a reason... Um, to really use a land-based dino. I was taking this guy, uh, the other one of the other guys around last night on stream. We stream uh, Monday through Friday, 5 to 9 at twitch.tv slash slipgator. There's a link in the down there if you want to hang out in the streams. But um, we stream over there, and uh, we took one of these guys out, and there was, like, nothing that we couldn't kill except a Giga. And the Giga is what killed the best Valenosaur that we've ever seen. Thatch Machine here? I ain't never seen Thatch Machine around here. You want to get some? Get wrecked, Thatch Machine. So, another unbelievable and amazing development, uh, which kind of blew my mind, is that we have these new leashes. And I can't remember if I show these to you on video or not. So, this is the Dino Leash. Um, it requires power from the sun. So, that little solar panel, I, I don't know, it doesn't really look like a solar panel. But uh, that little panel or whatever I think is supposed to signify um, there being uh, solar power. Um, and you can leash your dinos with it. Now, it used to be... Let me see here. I think this was the minimum range that you can have. So if you put a dino on wander in here, you can see there's a little red lock right there. Right next to, right up his butt. Right next to his heart. The little red lock. Oh, wait. You're not locked. Why aren't you locked, homie? That's weird. Okay. You should be locked. Let's go ahead and walk out and walk back in. Maybe we got a little bit of buggy, buggy, buggy stuff and things going on. Okay. Although, wait, wait. No, that's the other lock. Hmm. This one's not showing it. I don't know why. Six or a half dozen. The thing, uh, when these guys were released, everybody is saying this is going to be so good for breeding. Well, you can't breed one of the large dinos um, in, or one of the smaller dinos in a circle that's this big. So they went ahead and changed it. Check this out, man. That minimum distance right there. Now, uh, if we were to throw this guy on wander. Wait, wait, wait. Options. Uh, back. Behavior. Enable wandering. And the wheel of mystery. Now, if they wander, they should wander to the edges. You see, man? And then they're just going to stay there. It's perfect for mating. It's unbelievable and amazing. Ready to mate? Ready to mate? Oh, you're in. Freaking do it. Wait, what are you? Male? Female? Oh, she's mating. Dude, you guys. Shiza. We need meat right now. Wait, we have some. Here. Come here, Fred. Dude, we're going to have a baby Vlenosaur on our hands before we even know it. Let's get that hot meat action going over here like so. You guys, this is about to happen, I do believe. Let's check this out right here. Don't watch, though, because that's gross. 65% mating stuff and things are happening. This is the mating dance of the Tauradosaurus. This is how they do it. This is what it's look. This is what it looks like. Some, It's different for everyone, guys. Don't judge them. You know what I mean? Just live your life. Let them live their lives. No, it went down. No. Wah, wah, wah. So it didn't work. Well, I think it will work. I think that uh, if you let them sit here long enough, eventually they would get into uh, a mating rhythm. I don't know why you're not moving anymore, homie, but it'd be great if you went ahead and did. Because if our lady, Salty, walks over to this side over here, then she's going to go out of your mating uh, dink distance. And then it will be over for you. There'll be no babies. Come on, man. Dude, we got to call this guy... Uh, uh, Vasectomy? No, that's not a good name for him. What is going to be the name for our guy, man? Super unbelievable and amazing. Uh, Salty, by the way, I do believe was level 120 when we tamed her. And then this guy here was 145. Uh, over here, we have Irish Ninja and New Eden. No, no, no. Irish Ninja and New Zuzu. They were a little bit lower as well. So, um, yeah, this is going to be a high-level baby, man. Super sexually attractive high-level baby action if we can make it happen. Ladies and gentlemen. Any moment now, the moment of truth, the moment of truth, when our girl Salty squirts out a baby and an egg. Dude, you egged it? What up? It's not a live birth. I guess that makes perfect sense, dude. Hold on here. Egg health, incubation, too hot. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Dude, it's too hot. Hold on. Let's go ahead and turn these off. Um, for a second there, I wasn't even thinking. I was half expecting just a baby uh, Velanosaur to come out, but that's not what's going to happen. Obviously, we're going to get the fertilized egg. Let's pop over here. Disable wandering on those bad hombres. All right, sweet. So we got our egg. 
too hot. You know, I am unaware of there being anywhere on the server where it's cold. Oh, our snow owl got a level? I'm talking about that melee damage, man. I'm trying to get that guy up. Um, I don't know anywhere where it's cold. Um, I don't have a generator or gas or any of the things that I would need in order to get this egg to be fertilized. Uh, no, it's still hot. Hmm. We would need to set up a little area here. You know what? I feel like it's time to get some stuff and things done. Let's talk about this. We have some foundations over here. They're gross and stone. I kind of wanted to do all my building on this server with metal, but we're just not really ready to put the time in to make that happen. Uh, so I'm feeling like maybe over here we could start some sort of something, something, some sort of a base area place over in this area. It's nice and flat. Um, we don't want to build too close to our tables over here. Because our tables, these guys are an amazing resource. We don't want them to not respawn. I did do a test. I harvested them. I put a foundation in the middle here. None of them respawned in, so we can't build too close to them. Um, so I'm feeling like this is really going to be a good spot for it. Maybe over there is where we can build some stuff and things. Like right here, a little breeding area perhaps. Um, down over here, we do have a nice open flat area as well. Again, we don't want to build too close to that over there. Um... Hmm. Let's take a look at... Let me let me do some thinking about BRBs, peeps. And we're back. Metal ingots are processing and have been processed. Stuff and things has been occurring. I decided to screw the base idea and go straight to building all the stuff and things we need. <gasps> oh, except for... Oh, you know what we need? Right here. Uh, Some of that. And then over here, we need some of th this. And then we need some of this. Thankfully, I didn't forget about that. There we go. Some hot oil actions crafting up over there. All right. So, uh, let's set up an area just so we can do this thing. That's all we're trying to do is this thing, and this thing is all we're trying to do. Let's go like so. Yeah, that's right. Oh, I'm talking about a nice little sexy 4x4. Four four. That's what I'm talking about right there. Uh, maybe a 6, a 3, yeah, 3 by. That that's, looks perfect. All right, so then over here, oh, wait, we didn't grab the stuff and things. Let's go ahead and get our gear going. Um, we're going to set up uh the generator our air cons all the stuff and things we have some cable already i do believe where is the vertical straight we'll grab that this and that those two hopefully two ac units do it for us i'm not really sure how this is going to work out let's see how this goes okay so over inside of here let's go ahead and grab that bad ombre three this guy right over here but i'd love to have wait no a little bit of hot rotation action wait what's the there we go wait this, this man uh-huh. He's done it. Nailed it, Ace to Campy. Stop. Let's pop uh, down one of these bad hombres, like so. Oh, crap. There's one thing we didn't build as well. All right. That looks good right there. That should be fine. All the cable that we're going to need. We will need an outlet, which I neglected to craft. I don't even know if I've learned it yet. I don't think I have. Inside of here, outlet S plus, accept, let's go team, escape, escape, doesn't work. Go inside of here. All right. The outlet there, pull for one. Wait, what? No electronics! <gasps> Wait, please, please, God. Yes! Nails and ace the game stopped. All right. These electronics inside of here. And then get our outlet going right there. Pull. Wait, click. Pull. There we go. One outlet. He's done it. All right. So one outlet and then the two AC units. Put this guy away. And then hopefully we're G's. Pop that guy down right over there. And then over here. Dude, if two ACs don't do it, I'm going to be so sad. Gonna be so friggin' sad. Let's place one down right and try to go for like maybe the middle, like so. And then a second one. Unpowered. All right, gasoline. Is this gonna work, dude? If we need to build more, I don't know what we're gonna do because I'm not sure how many more we can build. Um, hot gasoline action. There we go. Come on, two AC units. Come on, two AC units. Let's go turn it on. Our ACs are running. No, it's no... Sh <gasps> no, it went away. Okay, the hot thing went away. All right, over here. Right there. Drop. Incubating! Ladies and gentle peeps. And our timers are a little changed on the server. Just so we don't have to wait around for an hour or whatever and do nothing. Um, and then come back and be like, yay, it's done. So, um, yeah, just a couple minutes here. It looks like it's going to be fine. Dude, what a nice little area we built here real quick. Good job, Slip. Or oh, you guys, I might have missed it. Oh, we missed it! Here he is! Oh my god, there it is! Hold on, hold on. E, he's done it? Oh man, baby turret. Turret? Hold on. Turret. Bam. Baby turret! He's so cute! 
206 level. Get on my level. Give him some of that hot meat action. Uh, wants care in 47 minutes. Behavior. Disable wandering. Dude, attack the dodo! Dude, look how cute it is! Oh my god, it's so cute! Oh my god, it's the screenshot from heaven! This is the cutest, most deadliest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> look at it looking around like, oh, you're all dead. <laughs> Dude, all right. Why am I... Dude, can you hear my armor a little bit? That is so weird. Um, all right, so maturation point three. Oh, there we go. It's eating some hot meat action. Let's go ahead and see how much more. Let's just put a ton of meat on it. There we go. There we go. Uh, statistics looks like twenty three hundred health, a thousand stamina. Wow, eleven thousand food, five hundred damage or five thirty three weight, two eighty seven, two seventy eight words point seven melee damage. Um, all right. So it's gonna probably take a long time for this guy to mature. What an unbelievable and amazing gift we've been given. What a beautiful little dino we've discovered here. What a cool guy, man. Oh, there he goes. He's doing his thing. All right, 3.6. He's still eating. And ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. That's going to be it for today. Also, before we go, the most perfect name ever, I think, for our new Turdosaurus weapon system. That's what I call them, man. <laughs> this is Dude, just weapon system. I can't wait for this guy to mature and take him out on the range. It's going to be unbelievable and amazing. The Velanosaur, guys, my favorite. One of my favorite. I don't know if it's my favorite. I have so many new favorite dinos. I love all the new dinos so much. They're so amazing. Thank you guys so much for coming to hang out with me. Make sure if you like the video, please don't forget. Smash that thumbs up button and show your support. If you feel like you want to see more of the videos, subscribe to the channel. And thank you very much to everybody over at Patreon.com slash Slipgator for supporting stuff and things. You are legendary champions. Thank you very much for watching. Peeps and... We'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace out. May the stuff and things be with you.